welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, I am bringing back the empties. I haven't done one of these in a super long time. Uh, I feel like I've filmed a couple of these videos, but then not been happy with it. So, hopefully this one will turn out really good. So, if you want to see the things that I used up, I have a good amount of things, and they're all in this little Sephora VIB bag that we got during the sale if you bought something. So, I have quite a bit. It's almost overflowing. And if you want to see what I used up, then please just keep watching. So the first thing that's hanging out of here is the Vanilla Bean Noel soap. And I just recently used this up like a couple of days ago. Um, but I really like this scent. It's really sweet and it smells really good. And I like deliberately wash my hands even though they probably don't need to be washed just so I can smell this scent. Um, I have this scent in a couple of other things that I haven't used yet, so I'm excited about that. So, along with uh, shower and soap and stuff like that, I have the Perfect Autumn Day. I don't know why I bought this specific scent, but it smells like Bartlett Pear, Crisp Autumn Air, Maple Toffee, Amber Woods, and Fig Leaf. So, it's definitely really sweet because it has the Maple Toffee and then it's mixed in with pear, so it's really an interesting scent, but it did not linger past my shower. So that was my only gripe with this product, so I probably wouldn't get it again, um, just because it didn't really scream at me that I loved it. I liked using it when I had it, and now I'm done with it, so that's probably the end of that. Next, I have a shampoo and conditioner, and these are two that I often repurchase. In fact, I already purchased them again, and I'm working through them. But this is the Moisture Shampoo er, by Herbal Essence, and this is the Volume Conditioner. Now normally I get both the Volume types, like Volume Conditioner and Volume Shampoo. Oh, I actually did that right, Volume Conditioner and Volume Shampoo. But I, the packaging is so similar that it's really hard if you're in a rush, I just like grab whatever one I see. Half the time it's wrong, so. But I have, um, the volume conditioner and shampoo for next use. It smells like white grapefruit and mint extracts. So, love this scent. I have something else that smells like that. I had hand lotion that smelled really good and it smelled really similar as well. So, I really like white grapefruit and mint mixed together, which who knew what white grapefruit smelled like until these products, right? Next is the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser, oil-free, cleans deep down to the pores, cool, ref refreshing tingle. I'm already using one in my shower. This is an empty from a couple of days ago, and I love this stuff. It's always in my shower because I really like how thick it is, and I just love the cool, refreshing tingle. I'm kind of used to it at this point, so the first time you use this, you might be like, whoa. I mean, it's not too bad, but I love this. It doesn't smell like anything, so. I am continuing to repurchase this. I can find it at most drugstores, so that's why it's really um, accessible and why I always repurchase it. To go along with the other face wash, I have the Simple Moisturizing Facial Wash. It cleans, cleanses and hydrates, and it's really, really um, thin, and it's like a gel-like texture. So that's why I like about this, and I use a Buff Puff with this, a gentle one, and I just, exfoliate kind it's not an exfoliator I'll put like a picture of it but it's a facial sponge and I really like using it that way my face feels super soft after using both of these oh no we have one more facial cleanser this is a Mario Badescu glycolic foaming cleanser this is was in the um, Sephora Black Friday kit so I got it for ten dollars along with three other products that were this size it looks like that and I like this, but I would not really go out of my way to repurchase it since I do have some staple products that I like using for my face. So this was nice to try out and I enjoyed it while I had it and I was happy to try it, but I wouldn't go any further than that. Rest is makeup related. So I actually did finish up quite a bit of things, so I'm very excited about that. So this is a Magic Lumi by L'Oreal. It has a pump, which I really like about it. Um, it's very similar to the NARS Radiance one, except that one's more like a thicker lotion. This is like a liquid, 
but they give off the same effect and I really like both, but I'm glad I found a drugstore alternative so I didn't have to repurchase that. Yeah, it gives your skin a really nice radiance under your foundation and very pretty, very affordable. It's a liquid, like I said, and yeah, I would repurchase this after I go through some of my primers. Actually, I only have two left, two primers left, so that's exciting. So next is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I love, love this mascara. I will eventually repurchase this again, but right now I'm going through a different one. This completely dried up on me towards the end, but that brush is so cool. You wouldn't think that it would be anything special, but let me tell you, girl, it is so amazing. I want everybody to go try this right now. Okay, sorry about that. We had to take a slight intermission because my memory card got full. The life of a beauty guru. Give it a thumbs up for that. Anyway, so as I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by my memory card, it, that brush is, you don't think it's going to do anything because it, although it is a very like different brush, it's very fat and the bristles are very close together, but Oh, the volume it gives on your eyes is just like, whoa, what just happened to my eyelashes? It's really good. I gave this um, a full size to my mother because I really needed her to try it. And I don't know why I said mother because I never say mother in my life. I meant my mom. Go try this if you can. Get your hands on it. You will not be sorry. So this is the Naked Skin uh, Foundation and the Naked Skin Concealer, let's start with the foundation first. What I love about this is the shade was perfect for me. I'm in the shade 4.0 and it was the olive skin tone one. I am Italian, so I have olive undertones, skin undertones, whatever. <laughs> and it has a pump. That's the other reason why I like it. It was super easy to get out. However, towards the end, I feel like it was hard to get it pumped out of. I love this. It was so lightweight, easy to blend out, didn't look cakey at all. Love it. It did have a scent to it, so if you're not into fragranced foundations. You might want to just smell it before you buy it. And then the Naked Skin is like a cult favorite, I swear. Um, I really like this. I used it for under my eyes and I love the doe foot applicator. It's flatter so it's like really easy to get into your inner tear duct and like under your eyes. So I just, I love this. I will definitely repurchase eventually. Just I'm not, I don't want to spend too much money right now with high-end products so Right now it's just drugstore stuff if I run out of something, but eventually I will repurchase this. It was really easy to blend out too. So, And last but not least, we have the Rimmel Lasting, Rimmel Lasting Finishing Primer. And it's just a clear, cons or it's like a white consistency and it blends out really evenly. I used it under my foundation today and then I was done with it so I was like yeah I could put it in this video but I love it I went through a bottle of it I'll keep this in mind when I need to repurchase new primers so that is the end of my empties video if you like these types of videos definitely give it a thumbs up and give it a thumbs up anyway for the, the fact that this video hashtag the struggle is real right so don't forget, I upload twice a week, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch me. It really means a lot, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys! Next is... <laughs> Let's do that again! Oh, no! So I gotta hurry up because I have one battery bar left, which is just my luck. <laughs> Forgot to charge it last time.